In lesson 2.3, students mix water that's colored blue with water, salt water, isopropyl alcohol, and detergent, all colored yellow, and also with an unknown that's one of those four other solutions. The idea is that by looking at the characteristic way that water mixes with each of the liquids, students will be able to tell what the unknown liquid is. Let's take a look. So students use a toothpick to move water that's colored blue into the samples of liquids that are colored yellow. One at a time in the same way without physically stirring them, just moving the blue water into the yellow liquid and watching for the results. And you can see that each liquid acts a little bit differently. When students look at the results, they should be able to tell that when they mixed water with salt water and water with the unknown, that they looked very similar. They looked more similar than any of the other two liquids. The students could reasonably conclude that the unknown is salt water. But why is it that each liquid has a characteristic way that it mixes with water? The animation shows the blue water being moved into the yellow liquid all at the same time and the results. And then we see the unknown, and that looks most similar to the salt water, just like in the activity that students did. And the question is, why are they like that? The answer has to do with the molecules that each liquid is made out of. Since they're all made out of different molecules, they interact with water differently. And the two that are the same, salt water and the unknown, which is also salt water, interact with the blue water in the same way. If you remember the way the blue water and the yellow isopropyl alcohol mixed, when they were brought together, there was like a shaking. There's another interesting characteristic of alcohol and water. You can take a tiny piece of tin foil shaped like into a little L and sit it on the top of water and then take some isopropyl alcohol on a cotton swab and just move it very close to the tin foil. You don't even have to touch the tin foil or the water. And the tin foil moves, as you can see. What we think is happening here is that we think that the alcohol molecules are evaporating from the alcohol on the Q-tip and then going into the water and interfering with the surface tension of the water and making the aluminum foil move. Here we're going to touch the surface of the water and you get a lot bigger reaction. It's, it's kind of fun, it's kind of interesting and unexpected that the alcohol molecules are either zooming over the surface of the water and pushing the aluminum foil or maybe they're disrupting the surface tension of the water and in some way the water is pulling the aluminum foil. For the next generation science standards for standard 5 PS11 develop a model to describe that matter is made of particles too small to be seen and for 5 PS13 make observations and measurements to identify materials based on their properties this lesson, lesson 2.3, supports the standard in that students use molecular models of the liquids to show that since the molecules are different, the liquids act in a characteristic way. And students also use the characteristic properties of the liquids, the way they interact with water, to identify the unknown liquid. If you look at the foundation boxes, science and engineering practices, planning and carrying out investigations, Students use the toothpicks all in the same way to pull the blue water toward the yellow liquid so that they control variables and they make a conclusion based on their observations. Disciplinary core ideas about structure and properties of matter, that matter can be subdivided into particles. We look at the molecules that the liquids are made of to try to explain why they have different characteristic properties. Students also see that they can make measurements in a sense of the properties of the liquids by combining them with water in order to identify an unknown liquid. And for cross-cutting concepts, scale, proportion, and quantity that objects exist from the very small to the immensely large, in this lesson, students look down at the particle level, at the molecules that the liquids are made of, and cause and effect, students see that the reason why 
the liquids act in a characteristic way is because of the molecules that they're made up of. So thanks for listening and watching, and good luck with the lesson.